Hey there YouTubers and Runescapers, it's me Luis slash Alox, and I'm going to explain the uh, Evolution of Combat uh, blog that appeared on the main page. Uh, nobody likes to read updates, nobody reads those things, and I understand that, but this is actually pretty vital. It involves our combat level and how it's going to be determined. Basically, Jagdix is removing summoning, prayer, and HP from determining and like being involved in like what your combat level is, so they're not going to be a factor anymore. Instead, it's only going to be strictly attack, strength, defense, range, and HP. Oh, uh, sorry, attack, strength, defense, range, and magic that are going to be involved in your combat level. And what they do is they take, um, there's three numbers you need to, wow, three numbers you need to add. Uh, it's going to be, the first number is going to either be your attack, strength, range, or magic level, whichever one is the highest. So take me, I have 99 on all of them. So it doesn't matter. So 99 plus whatever your defense level is. I have 99 defense, so plus 99 plus two. Why did they choose the number two? I don't know. But so then plus two equals 200. And that's how like my combat level would be. That would be the max level, 200. Now, if you take somebody else, like let's use Victoria's stats, for instance, like my girlfriend, um, her highest stat between attack, strength, range, and magic is range. So it would be 99 plus her defense level, which is 93 or 94. It's one of those two. I'll say 93 plus 93. So that's 192 plus two is 194. So she would be level 194. Now, the thing about that is Jagex is, um, they're taking away the summoning HP and prayer because they think it's a little too difficult to determine it. And this is an easier way to determine your combat level, which it really is because say you're a pure and, um, say it's easier for pures now because now you can actually have a legitimate, like straight, strictly one stat pure. And, um, basically it's like, okay, so if you want to have like 99 range, you'd be like 99 range plus one is 100 plus two, 102, you'd be level 102. So then you'd know who are the real pures between like level 100 or whatever. That, that's how you determine it. It's, it's pretty simple. It's, it's easy to understand. And because everybody else would have that combat rise, you can't think like, oh, now I'm going to be level 90 fighting level. Like I can't fight level 70s. No, everybody's getting this increase. So just remember that HP, prayer and summoning don't count in this. And then the second thing is that Jagex is removing the ability to um, gain combat EXP from monsters that are over 30 levels below you. So basically, you know how like if you're a pure, um, you would train at rock crabs that are level 13, and you would train on them all the way up to level 50, combat 60, combat 70 possibly. Well, now you won't be able to gain combat EXP from it because Jagex is trying to make it that you need to fight stronger monsters that are at least under 30 levels than you in order to gain the EXP. And that makes complete sense because other video games that you play, like basically every video game that involves combat, you gain little, you gain like either shitty EXP or no EXP from killing lower level things. Like when you play any PS2 game or um, RPG game that involves leveling up combat levels, it's always like that. Like take Pokemon, for example. You have a level five Pokemon fighting a level five Pokemon. You beat them, you get 30 EXP and it's like, oh, that's almost a level up. But if you're level 70 fighting a level five Pokemon, you get one EXP and that's how much you're gonna get and you it's shit but it makes complete sense for people that think it doesn't make sense it makes complete sense and now it's going to bother like people like pures who have low defense it's like oh i'm level 100 something and i have to fight a level 70 monster and i'm getting wrecked well i mean they can't keep babying pures you just have to understand that i'll save this topic for another video but that's basically how they're doing the combat system however if you're asking about slayer tasks too they're going to allow you to gain Slayer EXP from lower level monsters. So pretend you're level 138 and you never, uh, well, level 200. Pretend if you're level 200 and you never did Slayer before, and you have like to kill level two cows, then sure that's 198 levels under you, but you will gain the eight EXP that you need to kill them. Like they will keep the Slayer EXP for monsters. Just you won't gain combat. And I hope that explained everything for you guys. Uh, that was quick and easy thing, so you guys don't have to read the uh, main page. And thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. And if you want to talk to me in game, join the clan chat, Epic Nerds LOL. Oh, friends chat, sorry. Friends chat, Epic Nerds LOL. And if you see me online, just talk to me. I'll be the gold star in there. So take care, guys.